Jackson Radio Show. Leftists are miserable creatures. That's why they love chaos and what they call change. See, we would love to just be have a predictable world of sorts. I mean, we understand things are going to change, but there should be certain things that are predictable. Like, for example, your immigration system, the influx and outflow of people into your country. The same way you wouldn't want to come home and one day there's three people in your house. Maybe it's you, your spouse and a child. And then the next day you come home and there's 17 people. It makes it tough to plan. You, you don't know when the car, what the carpool is going to be like. You don't know why if you, when you have to take little Gomez to soccer and, you know, little, uh, uh, I don't know, give me a little Mexican girl's name, <laughs> Mary, <laughs> Maria, <laughs> little Maria to dance class. The point is, you, you, we want some level of st- stability and consistency. And you want it in your government. You want it in your surroundings. You don't want, you know, the, the closing off streets every other day in your city or you know, they change the water days or whatever, depending on what is going on. You want some level of consistency because you know what? Life is going to deal with enough of your change on the day to day basis in your own life. You got to make decisions on what to eat. You don't eat the same food every day. For the most part, you don't wear the same clothes. Kids don't have the same activities. Your spouse may travel, may not. D- different things going on at work and so on and so forth. So that's why you need some layer of stability. I said, uh, life isn't about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. It was George Bernard Shaw who actually said that. Thank you for finding that, my friend. But that's what life is supposed to be about. Leftists spend a lot of time looking for themselves because they stay in a constant state of chaos. They don't they have no ground, you know, grounding tool. There's no foundational support. Many of them, they say, I don't believe in God, but I'm spiritual. Woof. It's nonsense. Either you believe in something that can help you find that center that can ground you. Your body has it. That's why the human body is designed to perfection. It is. You have a center of gravity that makes everything work. We call it the core now. You strengthen your core. Everything else is strong with you. The same is true of your mental stability and strengthening your core, your basis of knowledge. Why do you think they're taking away the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic? They don't want that foundation to be there. They're doing common core, and they're teaching multiculturalism and the social justice warrior agenda. How depressed you should be because of the past, something that you have n- not, you don't have suffered at all. We were, I was talking to my team the other day. I said, hey, I want to come up with things that the left these snowflakes have never experienced. For example, heat stroke due to picking cotton. Yeah. Or uh, have to get reconstructive surgery due to whippings by the master. Segregated lunch counters. Police brutality or beatdowns. They don't even know of it. They barely know anecdotally and it's only because somebody said it. That's the way they learn. That's the way they are. Life isn't about finding yourself. It is about creating yourself. You know what the the beauty of creation is? And I'm going to get to politics in a second. By the way, I am talking politics. For those of you who are saying, Kevin, why are you giving us a life lesson, brother man? I'm probably older than you, Kev. Why are you trying to give me a lesson in life? I don't know why you're listening. (laughs) That's the question I would ask. (laughs) See, I don't answer your questions. Don't be trying to trick me up. (laughs) I would ask you, why are you listening? If I'm younger, probably am, could be, don't know. I'm older than people think, a black don't crack. But you're listening for a reason because I'm trying to impart some knowledge on you. Upside your head. Creating, creation is something beautiful. In the beginning, God created. God did not destroy. He didn't take part of the universe and say, I will destroy this part of the universe and make it in the earth. No, he created it. In the beginning. You love creation. Kids love creation. You know what else we love? We love creation and we love discovery. Everybody does. Every kid is amazed when, when they utter a word and people look at them. Or they do something like, you know, walk. And they're like, come on, you can do it. You can do it. We all have the same, you know, car, it's, it's just a prime, primordial, you know, thing inside of us. Life is simple. 
We make it complicated. That's a paraphrase of Confucius. Confucius say, life is very simple, but we insist on making it complicated. <laughs> and that's just how he said it too. I knew Confucius. <laughs> We do. We make it complicated. And what's complicating our lives these days is the stupidity upon which our lives are being governed. Let's go back to creation. What do you want to create? You want to create an environment where we let the Hillary Clintons of the world get away with what they get away with? Or do you want to create an environment where we people follow the rules? People obey the law. It applies equally and honestly to everybody. That's what I'd like to create. But see, that's not good. Leftists don't like that. They want to let you know, hey, if you get to a certain strata, the rules no longer apply. You can get what they call it, that rich kid. They called it a, um, oh, geez, like too much money itis or something. You know, it was like, a, it, 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 God, I can see it. I can see the word. Influence, influence, influenza, <laughs> or something like that. Like he had too much money and influence. That's what they, that's what this kid, they got him off on it too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got all these things we're, we're dealing with insane things that are happening in the world because leftists don't know how to find themselves money. That's been spent out the wazoo that could help them find themselves. Ask yourself when you see these crazy classes, like women's studies and black people studies, gender studies, whatever. And as opposed to finding yourself, you know what leftists do? They say, well, if you think you're a little boy, think again, because you might not be. No, there are 35, no, 51, no, 73 genders. And each of them have all their pronouns and stuff. So you think you were born a little white boy, huh? Instead, you could be a black girl. That's how crazy leftism is. It lets you pick and choose because here's why. Here's why. Let's help you find yourself. Yeah. Now, some of you argue, well, Kevin, that's pretty creative. Yeah, you could create anything you want. Yeah, you can create that. It would be a false identity, Sybil. Because you are who you are and you should appreciate who you are. Look, we're at fault too, conservatives. We got out. We got after people for being gay or, you know, interracial marriage and all that back in the day. We did, you know, we did our stupid stuff. Looked at people a little strangely because they didn't fit the, you know, the mold of whatever we were told it was supposed to be. I'm not forgiving us. But at the end of the day, we want to find, finding yourself means understanding who you are. To thyself be true. Be true to who you are. That's the easiest way to find yourself and let people know. The more I'm not look, I get it. There are secrets that you want to keep, and I'm I'm cool with that. I don't need to know everything about you, but I need to know who you are at your core. That that we're equally yoked in certain ways of thinking. Anyway, we got a ton to talk about. I'm gonna get off though I will be interweaving a life into the discussion. We'll be back in just a bit. Hang in there. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.